and another is dynamic physician with active active play this is explained in the terms that the uh, i will skip and explain what i'm trying to tell right now the stiffness of the plate constant is conventional compression plate in the conventional compression plate very high stiffness of the plant bone constant which may result in the direct bone healing but the disadvantage is when there is an uh, loss of compression this may lead to the absorption and non healing the use of the locking plate do not rely on the compression residual gaps between the plate and bone is left and this concept is working like an uh, internal external fixator the plate bending leads to the stimulation of callus formation mainly at the opposite side of the plate this is an example of it that the plate is in a constant in which a far cardical locking dynamic locking is used and active breaking here the plate has been dynamized i mean the upper two frames the only screw has been dynamized The standard outcome parameters such as the constant stiffness, strength, durability may seem deceptively simple, but their proper assessment and the interpretations are of crucial importance when drawing the conclusion from biomechanical test results. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any questions? Thank you, uh, Dr. D.C. Rajasthan, for your nice uh, lecture. Now, may I invite Dr. Sudhir Kumar sir to deliver his talk on complications of plating in the supraspinal fracture and their management. Dr. Sudhir sir. Good morning. Distal femur plating is one of the common technique for the fracture around the femur. If you are going to have a fracture, it is supracondylar, intercondylar fracture. One of the possible choice to put the plate on the lateral side. Good technique. Early mobility is possible in majority of the conditions, and you are going to get rid of the problem with a good functional outcome. Every fracture. Has got an inherent complication once you are going to enter the knee. Just like the infection, the loss of reduction, improper reduction, malreduction, non-union, and implant failure. So how to tackle it? That is one aspect. How to reduce it to a, on the lower side? That is the second aspect. So two things are very very important. One has to take care of the biomechanical problems related with the. Fracture fixation. Secondly, one has to respect the biology to achieve the good good union across the fracture site. Okay.
I think there is a uh, problem with the audio user presentation. May I uh, invite Dr. Manisi Bandhu, sir? And periprosthetic fractures. Technically challenging fractures management. Modalities are well known, starting from the actual fixator, blade plate, and maybe one can plan for the distal femur replacement in some of the conditions. Technique is very simple once you are going to open it from the lateral side, either go by a by reflecting the muscle in the front, or one can go around the parapetal incision, slide the plate and fixation is possible in the majority of the time without opening the fracture site with a long incision. Small incision management is possible. Also, it is stated easily, they do require the treatment in the same city. The aim of this treatment is to achieve the stability along with the, with, along with the early mobility. So, as you are going to achieve the stability, the early mobility and functional outcome will be well accepted. Dual plate is one of the choice, but dual plate do require a longer area of the incident and more devascularization with soft tissue. But stability pick at any cost is mandatory to achieve the good early outcome of the patient. Primary DKR with a fixation is possible. Obviously, in such conditions, whether already knee joint is having a significant change, this is one of the possible choice. Very prosthetic fracture can be fixed with the angle plate with the screw. This is another case with the eight month follow. There may be a variable angle plate with the screw which has got a better possibility of the screw, screw placement for the bifollicular hole over the distal part of the femur. Proximally, one has to think about the longer spanning of the across the fracture site and the lesser of the screw placement in the in the diaphyseal part of the 
Both. One has to think about the right indication, good reduction, respect the biology, and supplement the system by the uh, graph if necessary. Locking plate preserves the periosteal blood supply, and locking devices are more stable externally and torsionally. Avoid the soft tissue malhandling. Reduction of chances of failure is just by one second to mobilize the patient and try to achieve the, mobile, the functional at an early possible date, even with the help of the passively supporting machine, this is going to improve the function and same time, the physiological loading is also going to improve the human across the factory cycle. Failures should be tackled biologically and mechanically irrespective of the cause of the failure. This may be biomechanical, may be a biological, and failed cases require the biological enhancers. Like take an example, here we have done the medial plating. Suppose we are going to place the plate on the uh, sorry, sorry, lateral plating. Do we require the medial plating? Obviously, some kind of thing for, to achieve the more stability, but the end of course will be biology. In this condition, the cortex on the lateral side is well intact, and go to on the table, the surgeon has decided not to go ahead with the medial plating. Another example where the additional KY is required to fix a small fragment in the distal part of the female. This looks like a as if the there is a mal reduction, but once you are going to see the articular surface, this is well fixed. Despite of having some shortening, the alignment is fit fairly good and patient was comfortable in after achieving the good from outcome. Another example by any one sided plating, this may be. Deformity may be there because of the improper reduction with a virus collapse. Virus collapse is not acceptable. In any condition, chances of you are going to get a virus collapse, chances of plate deformation and implant failure is on the higher side. Same thing is true in this particular two slides. This may be a mal reduction on day one. Patient came for the protruding screw on the medial side. So we have removed only a single screw. And rest of the things were done by by some other surgeon at some other place. But definitely in the such condition, you do require to reduce the fracture very properly for achieving good outcome. Here, I can't blame for everything to the other person only. Here is a day one failure with improper fixation. This was longest plate available. Although if you are going to get a plate much longer than this, this will be more, this will be better. So did a revision two days after this first surgery. And apply the plate on the lateral side. The medial plate application was possible, but definitely you do require more resection and you have to place the plate on underneath the femoral artery. So we have decided to stay here. Either in this condition, one can augment the, uh, the stability by putting an intramedullary device or sometimes by putting elastic nail inside. But if you are having a suspicion of failure on day one, best thing to go and revise it on day one. Implant failure. So, do require a revision and augmentation with the biological enhancers. Another patient who had infected, got the implant removal done, did the surgery, again failed, failed with the implant failure on at the, at the some occasion, and patient did to require a revision surgery. Dual implant, good from the outcome. But soft tissue repair around the thigh and the tree to take care to prevent the bulge of the soft tissue on the medial or lateral side. Dual plate is not always wise to do it. Because you do have to respect the biology at the same time. Putting a DFA is one of the choice, but implant failure is even possible complication. Despite of being a repeated surgery, surgeon was not able to achieve the union at a early date. Another example where the the interlocking with the distal femur was done, but same time, because of the fracture at this side, the another rod was placed and achieved the stability of the fracture side. Infection is one of the common problems. One has to take care if somebody is coming from the other place, even you have done the surgery, you must go for a biological marker, like asking for the CRP and D diamond be one of the important factors. Go for a tissue, experience the site and go for a tissue culture and cytology to make sure you are not dealing with infection. Another patient, we thought of dividing the patient on the table, but at the, at the time of opening the non union site, the patient was having a lot of pulse discharge and a lot of soft tissue 
which was infected was removed from the site. They do require to defer the surgery on day one. On the table, we got the realization there was not much mob no mobility was there across the surface site. After the ground removal, we achieved the union across the surface site. So these are the possible things one can do at the time of surgery. Distal tumors are common but complex factors. Whatever your failure may be secondary to the mechanical or a biological one. Current outcome of learning is to appreciate the tips and tricks to prevent and treat the complications. The most important is if you are getting trapped because of the complications, you must know how to get rid of it, such kind of problems. This is not uncommon to see the compounding within this part of the tumor. They do require a special care, especially the debridement, proper debridement of the revitalized uh, tissue and the good stability is mandatory. Knowledge of reconstruction gives you the confidence of the good death. Thank you. Any questions from the audience? May I ask a question to Dr. Sudhir sir? Yes sir. Uh, sir, uh, when should we uh, use a single lateral plate and uh, when should we use dual plate? Uh, if you are sure you have achieved the stability with a single plate, probably I will like to stay with a single plate. My preferred class is putting a single plate. But gradually things keep on changing. So putting additional device on the middle side is very indicated. Like one can move, put a DSM along with augmentation with the plating and the One can augment it by a fibula, third fibula graft. Thirdly, on the medial side, putting elastic nail even a wise class. If defect in a good track, but you have to respect the value. Sir, many times on table, uh, taxes looks stable with a single plate only. But uh, when uh, patient starts weight bearing, uh, virus collapse occurs and the medial fragment uh, goes into virus. Definitely, if you are not able, able to achieve the union, if you are not going to get the union at the early death, before the failure of the implant, the biology must succeed over the failure of the implant. So, this possibility is there. Can be reduced by putting a dual plate. Thank you. Any questions from the audience? Sir, thank you. So I request Dr. Jayan Singh sir to please come on the stage. Dr. Sudhir Kumar sir, please. A big round of applause for our speaker. Meanwhile, uh, can we take a comment from Dr. Amitra Sudhir sir? You want to speak something? Uh, <coughs> Sir, is there any role of primary bone grafting if there is a medial? If there is a big word even then. Thank you, sir. So that is the end of the session. I request our chairperson to please come at the center of the stage to collect their mementos. Thank you, sir.
the next is the much awaited professor dr s c god oration i would request our chairpersons for the session to please take their seats on the stage dr patil kulkar sir dr k d tripathi dr manishi bansal dr n k agrawal and dr sachin yadav good morning friends i think when we floated the idea of plates con then we promised among ourselves that uh, there will be two orations every year every plates con one is for professor arsi gupta and other for dr professor sc god he was a very dedicated and daring trauma surgeon and uh, this is the day we remember him for this we have invited a very renowned orthopedic surgeon of this region and padma sri awardee padma sri dr p k sanjay sir can we uh, can we invite you on the stage i request dr manish bansal to read about the citation of dr p k sanjay thank you sir it's an honor for me to introduce about dr bhupen kumar singh sanjay for the prestigious professor sc god oration professor sc god was mentor of almost all of all of us practicing here in allahabad at least dr bhupen kumar singh sanjay needs no formal introduction but as a customary i am introducing him i would request dr anuj gupta to kindly chair the session dr anuj gupta please padma shri dr bhupen kumar singh sanjay is the world renowned orthopedic surgeon from dehradun a guinness book of world record holder and limca book of record for his outstanding surgical achievements in india book of record for his rare social outstanding achievements he did his graduation from gsvm kanpur and post graduation from pgi chandigarh for his dedicated services to the mankind on 9th november 2021 dr sanjay has been honored with the great civilian award padma shri he had been awarded swedish government fellowship in 1986 Swiss AO International Trauma Fellowship in 1998, Japanese Chiba Cancer Center Fellowship in 1990, Government of India DST Boy Scout Fellowship in 1991, USA Mayo Clinic Visiting Canadian Fellowship in 1991, Australian Royal Adelaide Hospital Spinal Fellowship in 1999, Russian Ilizarov Scientific Center Fellowship in 2011, and many more. Honored as a visiting professor. he has delivered lecture across the globe in japan australia singapore new zealand california malaysia and usa he worked as an associate professor in pgi chandigarh and professor and head of department at himalayan institute of jollibee he presented more than 100 paper in various national international conferences and published his academic work in top rated index international journals he is a founder president of uttarakhand uttaranchal state chapter of indian north association and a member and fellow of many national international professional bodies a renowned surgeon and a social worker 
outstanding writer, orator, and a columnist, and an author of a poetry book, Uparth Sandeshka. Dr. P.K. Sanjay has been awarded Kavya Bhushan Samman also. Multifaceted personality, recipient of Seacott Foundation, France Award, 1996. Dr. Durga Prasad Lok Sat 2022. Uttarakhand Ratna 2002, Uttaranchal Gaurav 2003, is renowned in his medical as well as social work. Prayagraj Orthopedic Association feels honored to bestow the prestigious Professor Suresh Chandgaon oration to Dr. Bhupendra Kumar Singh Sanjay on 13 November 2022 in Plates Con at AMA Convention Center Prayagraj. Thank you, sir. Namaskar to all chairmen, all dignitaries, senior and junior colleagues, media people, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, it is an honor to anybody to address the August gathering because every person we can say we can address to the general public. Because when you are talking to the less privileged people, probably we feel very proud. But when we talk in front of the people, those who are many times more than you, especially the teachers. The students can never be equal to the teachers in any way. If in the one field one can be, but not in the other. Pad, Pratishtha, Prasansa, Dasa, Pyaar, Prosan, Puruskar, Pane ki sab ki kamna hoti hai aur sab ko nahi hota. I would like to thank to all members and office bearers of UP Priyagraj Orthopedic Association. Particularly to Dr. K.D. Tripathi, Organizing Chairman and Dr. Manishi Vansal, Organizing Secretary and their team who has extended invitation to me to deliver this oration. Dr. S. C. Gaur was born in 20th September 1948 in Aligarh, UP. He is exactly or almost six years older than me. He did the MBBS, MS, Orthopedic from Kanpur, and I entered in the MBBS in 1974 when he was almost becoming Orthopedic Sector. I never met him in the medical college because I was at that time the first year student and the first year students were not supposed to go to the hospital. Since 1975, he had various teaching positions and retired as a professor and had in 2008. I had an interaction with him during many conferences. Dr. Gaur was the renowned orthopedic surgeon of his time. He has contributed a lot not only in the field of clinical practice, but in the academic field as well. In addition to that, he has been a great human being, and I think his achievement, his behavior, has led to start an innovation on his name. This is a great tribute to any person by his colleague and fraternity to give the oration. I started orthopedic training with a intention to just reduce the fracture and put the plaster for the fracture treatment in an honest statement of, uh, in front of you. As I have, but I have an intuition at that time that the number of patients of orthopedic fracture will increase from the time. I know when I was doing the house job or so, the orthopedic surgery was not as good or was treated equal to the medicine of the condition. Relatively, relatively, before I entered, the people, those who got the less merit, used to go to the orthopedic training also. But there was me and my other colleagues, those who were working with me, we opted for the orthopedic surgery because by entering the medical college, I only wanted to become a surgeon, not the physician. Still today, I consider the surgeons are better than the physician. 
but unfortunately in the english practice the surgeons are never given the designation of the doctor but mr i was in the giving a lecture in the san diego university the professor who invited me he asked me are you a doctor so i feel insulted i say i am a doctor but he say you are a professor i again said yes i am a professor then he said how can or you are a surgeon as well yes i say i am a surgeon then he said how you can be a doctor if you are a surgeon in the english england or in the higher post you are addressed as a mr and this is the tradition is started from the why because the surgeons we are in the england surgeons we are not a well qualified people the only doctors or the physicians we are the well qualified and those who got the recognition from the from, uh, FRCP, but not the surgeon but after all because they become a competition between the doctor and surgeon and surgeon became a superior and they proved that they are better than physician then they started to give the honor to the surgeon but to my surprise the whole scenario of orthopedic surgery has changed in last 40 years recently many developments in the management of the fracture treatment has been seen the management of the fracture treatment has been changed from the simple plaster to sophisticated minimum invasive place osteosynthesis eo has contributed a lot to spread the message of osteosynthesis in italy they have organized hundreds of courses all over india and awarded the fellowship many indians or british including me have been benefited with that eo has given training for the few selected doctors in the beginning but later on thousands of the orthopedic surgeons have been trained in our country by eo faculty and eo trained indian faculty i have also attended basic and advanced courses and received eo fellowship not only once but twice first in the solitary surgeon and in trauma 1988 second in adelaide australia in spine 1999 I had an opportunity to meet two of the four important founder father of the EO, that is the Hans Willeniger and the Mars Muller. I met Professor Hans Willeniger first time in Sweden in 1986 during my Swedish government fellowship, and then again during my EO fellowship in Bath in 1988. I also met Professor Mars Muller first time during my Mayo Clinic fellowship in Rochester, Minnesota, USA. Since then, I have visited Davos in Switzerland many times. which is the head quarter of the eo eo principle of the fracture management has three component first reduction of the fracture second stable fixation third early mobilization joint the fixation gave the absolute stability if it is done in proper way and if fracture is reduced in anatomical position locomotion is important at every stage of life however it is more important in childhood normal walking contribute a lot for the overall development of the any child like in this girl you see she is a 11 year old bilateral ctb corrected fully almost it becomes people can't believe it that this is the same girl the lady she is the more than 60 years after the osteoarthritis this becomes a deformity become difficult to them and after the surgery they have become a normal even if i say in the just in the light of move to the daughter in law or the bahu jo aati hai main bahu se kehta hu aap apni saas ko operation kara lo kyunki main ise jawan bana dunga tabhi to aap bazaar ghum paoge kyunki maa kaam karegi saas tabhi aap bahar ghum payenge aur so payenge aur tv dekh payenge and with this lalat probably the grief they convince to the mother or mother in law ab mummy sahi kare na doctor saab operation kara lo to kehti mujhe dar lagta hai kahan jana hai to bahut jaldi jana hi hai to kehti kuch bhi nahi jitne din rahogi kam se kam din jinda rahogi aur in diet ki side ye bhi kehti tu meri seva kar both knee hip joint alignment surgery in the bilateral retired play will retired teacher he has decided also he has the plenty of money his son is also the uh, principal and uh, grand daughter is also the doctor they have the plenty of money in only kasam khali ki mujhe knee joint replacement to karane hai dr sir chola doctoron ke paas gaye sab ne mujhe kaha mujhe to ye nahi karana and they got it and they gave me the this letter as well because i can't because it due to the lack of the time i can't local disability means a problem in the moving from one place to another that is the disability in the leg according to the 2011 census almost 27 crore people in the our country were disabled and 20% had the locomotor disability 
I believe the thought police surgeon of our country can play an important role to prevent and to correct that deformity. I also believe that the health of the limb is as important as that of the heart and the lungs. <coughs> Many people are having the heart and lungs lying down in the bed, sitting in the room, not going anywhere, then there's the light. Whatever mankind has achieved so far is mainly due to its ability of locomotion. If all of us had not walked on our feet, we would not have reached where we are today. Because walking is necessary to go to the school. Once we have gone to the school, then limit is unlimited. A healthy and educated person not only can do his work, but the works of the other as well as we are doing. I say that he meant, in other words, the one. Who are the one who is the full of confidence because he, he is S for healthy and E for educated. Once anybody becomes the he man, then he will be successful. And I add in this not only the he man, but when the nation will have the he woman. What is he? Healthy and educated woman, nation will grow deep and bound each and every day. Strong bones, strong muscles and flexible joint form the iron triangle that carries the most important load that is the human body. Interestingly, 50% of the person's bones and the muscles are in the two legs. Both the legs together have 50% of the nerves and blood vessels of the human body. 50% of the blood flows through them. It is the largest circulatory network that connects the body. 70% of the human activities once of the life are done by the two dogs. Next, overall, physical, mental, and social, economic development of any material takes place only by locomotion. Any type of disability causes not only physical harm, but also mental, economic, and social law. The needs of the people with disabilities are the same as those of the typical person. You see this photo. It is a statewide deformity. This Patient was abandoned by the family because of the deformity, because he became a liability to the family. And he, in fact, left the place from Lucknow to Dehradun, and he is one of the renowned mechanics. What person is having? Because my identity sometimes goes with his identity. Because many people, those who are coming with the Mercedes and the bigger uh, cars, they know this person. And they sometimes, because I displaced this photo in the uh, reception area, he said, Daksha, after his kahi ilaj kiya hoga, then they come to go because he is the one. The correction of the deformity should be done as soon as possible. The perception of the community people is that children should be operated only when they become mature. But sooner the correction, better the results. That I have already shown. Growth of the, any individual depends upon locomotion. We all need a conditioned <coughs> environment to grow and develop in existing environment and circumstances. But disabled people need more. The longer the disability lasts, its ill effect increases proportionately. <coughs> government, non government organization, and society should try to prevent any kind of disability. Deformity and disability due to any reason should be rectified as soon as possible because I believe that the plants can be stated easily. Not the tree. बहुत सी माय कहती हैं अरे अभी तो बच्चा बहुत छोटा है अरे इसको तो ये हो जाएगा हम इसे यही कहते हैं आप बताओ तब पौधे सीधे होते हैं या फिर इस बार I've got the hydrogen going on the tibia that the fibula has been done for the tibialization and which is I presume it is not should be done in the children but has been done and the deformities persisted these deformities can be corrected in the time and they corrected as almost normal and this is the photograph which is the children of the six year olds. I would like to say that if the health of the feet of all of us was not good and we were not walking, then we would not have these where we have these today. And in other words, those who are not able to walk will not be able to reach where we have these. The servant can only dream and people who can walk can dream and can fulfill their dreams as we all have done it and are in the pursuit to fulfill them. The certain disability and the deformity are the associated since the birth of a child. This unfortunate child lived with that for whole life, but on what cost? I would like to quote an example of the Asma who was having eight deformities in the whole body. That's why he was named Asma. Because of that deformity, he had been humiliated by the community and the society since birth. 
by almost by all people of that time, even by his father. He was thrown away and he was. The orthopedic surgeons play an important role to correct the deformity and the disability. I think it's a great contribution of all orthopedic surgeons, including Professor S.C. Gore, for the growth and development of the society and the nation. Jabhi koi log larne aate, tab hum yehi yehi karte. Tum log tod ko log hai, tumhare bache ne tod di motorcycle to chalaega, todega. Aur jab hamare jaise doctor nahi rahenge, tab kya karenge? Jindi ki wajah larke ko larga, lagla rakhoge. कोई गलती हो जाती हम और आपको ब्लेम करते कभी हर माँ बाप से पूछता हूँ कभी आपने बच्चे से कहा है बात कि आपसे गलती हो गई उससे इतनी बड़ी गलती होने पे आप उसे एक्सक्यूज कर देते हैं और डॉक्टर से कोई छोटी सी भी गलती हो जाती है आई वन एग्जाम्पल फाइव पीपल टू डाइड एट स्पॉट ऑफ एक्सीडेंट टू डाइड ऑन द वे वन डाइड इन दॉस्पिटल दॉस्पिटल प्रॉपर्टी when all four died nobody has complained to anybody but for that person when we are trying to save him if he died then they scold us or they abuse him fracture has been an important cause of deformity and disability which has been corrected by the early or delayed osteosynthesis and the plates have played an important role to fix the fracture i have seen significant development in practice of fracture treatment since 1980 which is now more than 40 years since my start of orthopedic training in the jnd Plate osteosynthesis can be done in any part of the bone. However, recently the leg has taken over the osteosynthesis of diaphyseal fracture almost all bones. However, the metaphyseal and intraarticular fractures need to be fixed by plate only, as many speakers have shown this. This is the patient who has been treated, and this is the patient. The left side I have treated, the right side others has treated. And you can see in this with the two screws in the sacroiliac joint. When I will only say this: Rahman, see, the bullet go, lagu na tije dar, jaha ka aaye sui, kaha kare salva. If we go in the detail, the following 25 years old polio affected patient with similar fracture was treated elsewhere with extensive two-stage procedure. The patient developed further paralysis after surgery. पोलियो है पहले ही करेला फिर उस पर नील चला इंपॉर्टेंट एडवांटेज ऑफ द प्लेन ऑस्टियोसिंथेसिस इज द एनाटॉमिकल रिडक्शन व्हिच इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द नॉर्मल फंक्शन ऑफ द जॉइंट एंड द लिप दिस द वन ऑफ द पेशेंट ट्रीटेड विद द प्लेन 25 इयर्स ओल्ड अनमैरिड एट दैट टाइम सिटिंग डूइंग ऑल द एट दैट टाइम अनमैरिड नाउ ही इज मैरिड एंड आफ्टर द 3 इयर्स ऑफ द सर्जरी ही हैज अ फोटो this fracture or any intraarticular fracture they need the plate fixation and that is the best the judicious use of osteosynthesis with the plate is many times better than the osteosynthesis of the leg the use of plate osteosynthesis has improved a lot after the minimum invasive surgery or the minimum osteoplate is synthesis and the availability of the pre contoured plate and of the image and test fire almost in all orthopedic operation theater as we are uh, discussing in the morning as well very soon probably all orthopedic surgeon will have to have the portable ct scan because the way our skills are increasing our expectations are increasing the aspiration of the patients are increasing probably we should have the Uh, arrangement or we should plan like that way that all most all orthopedic surgeon should have the ct scan to improve the quality of the surgery and the quality of the result the improved quality of the material has also played a significant role to prevent the breakage of the plate which was quite common in the earlier time which i have seen or or the many people of my age i have seen i personally think the breakage of the plate is not mainly because of poor quality and the design of the plate but if the plate is already put on the bending surface rather than on tensile surface of the bone then it is bound to fail or break sooner or later sometimes it happens even with the non weight bearing activity or exercise it is bound to break definitely particularly if it is not protected till the consolidation of the fracture if not the plate then the bone as it can be seen in the following slides the slides you see is it is plate is not on the lateral side but it is on the anterolateral side and in this plate it is bound to break and if particularly the poor quality then it is bound 
Whatever newer development has been achieved in the fracture management, the management of the fracture with the plate osteotensis, we are relevant in the past. This is the slide. Has been, this procedure has been done in 1988, and this is done in the Himalayan Institute. And uh, this is the open fracture, multiple fracture at that time because the open fracture, we were afraid to put the uh, nail, and uh, this is the plate has been done. And whatever can happen in the plate, that also. Patient has got the internal fixation at the primary site at that time, or I suspected that it is bound to fail. So I put the bone graft in, then got the infection, suction irrigation for infection, bone graft, repeat bone grafting for the daily reunion, but it healed. Plate osteosynthesis is still relevant, especially in the certain situation like fracture through hip or knee implant, at an, or knee implant. like over here. So one of the speaker has shown one in the through the plate or above the plane. It is a simple procedure and that very well because the revision of the implant, such a time this patient doesn't want that I will do it. I like it, the revision of the hip, even if you do it, it's going to bound to fail the infection and the loosening, all the things. So this is the simple procedure and it solves. It is still relevant, especially in certain situations, like the neovascular injury. I have done it because being an orthopedic surgeon, being in the training, the Mayo Clinic, I had the training to do the vascular surgery as well. I repaired this brachial artery and the put the plate at that time heal, and this is the result. It is still relevant, especially in the metaphysian, in the intraarticular fracture, as you have seen earlier as well. And this is one of the slides. He has got the all fracture, complete rupture of the cordyceps. From patella, partial pelvic tendon avulsion, ACL avulsion, lateral meniscus injury, and the other procedure. And obese patient, and this is what is the procedure. The open procedure and multiple plates, multiple surgery, then it can be salvaged in this To achieve the anatomical reduction and a normal physiological function of the joint so that the patient can have pre injury state. Say the plate gives the almost anatomical reduction. We can see in this slide, and you might have got your own experience. Same over here. Extensive fracture, but the nail, nail is bound to fill, especially in the distal. It is going to give the either this angulation, medial, lateral, rotation, all the things. So closer to the joint, I personally feel should be done with the plate only, though there is the risk of the infection, stiffness, not only and this happens, but still it is the better. If it was well, then it's going to. To achieve the anatomical reduction, normal physiological function of the joint, so that the patient can get the pre injury status. It's the LO, it's also done in sometime 2008. This is the knee injury. Nowadays, I put the two plates on the both side, medial and lateral. Don't take chance in any way. The plate osteosis has got the fewer inherent complications like increased chances of infection due to larger soft tissue dissection, depend upon the size of the plate, as I mentioned earlier. Increased chances of delayed and non union due to distraction and avascularity of the fracture is, which happens sometimes, but now these both problems have been rectified or the taken care by the invasive, minimum invasive surgery or the lipo. I would like to mention a quote of Professor Morris Muller to anticipate. Recognize and understand mistake is the principle of the business. Suddenly, even I put the break, this thing I cross the that hole. Complication of the plate fixation can be reduced with the careful soft tissue handling as well as the anatomical reduction, stable fixation of the fracture, aseptic surgical precaution, and medical surgery. I personally see in our country, people do not give us any importance to prevent the infection as they do for the other things, like patient prefer imported titanium expensively. That's a plate of titanium is done, but they do not give the importance of the no cost or least cost principle of the general hygiene and the surrounding cleanliness. I think all the time, but that's a pressing company, that's a surgery company, or plate, plate that's an important thing. Titanium is done, or Pachas is done, or that's a Pachas is done, or Pachas is done. That is the concept or this is the thinking of the people. But not people are not wearing masks. They are not wearing masks. They Surgeons should give importance to the surgical principle rather than implant, make, and material, which is immaterial. 
Factors influence the results of any problem because there are four factors. Severity of the fracture, earning of the patient, facilities and skill. Yadi dekhi Indra Gandhi ko chot lagi, itni severe chot ki bach nahi paayi. Mr. Ji ka accident hua. See, this was so expensive. Jis hospital mein paani ki shubda nahi, wahan pe blood ki kaha shubda hogi. Or, yahan pe doctor ki skill. Because hai chiz mein, kahi na kahi humare desh mein, koi na koi mismatch. Vaisa, mein sab koi kehta, health is well. मैं कहता हूं वेल्थ इज है पहली आप स्लाइड दे दिए जो चल रहा है बंदा इसमें आप आठ हजार रुपए लेके आए प्रोसेस कराना चाहता है को ठीक कराना चाहता दिस इज स्लाइड हैज बीन टेकन सम टाइम्स इन द जॉनी ग्रांट ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स बैक और उसके पास इतने पैसे नहीं थे कि प्रोसेस ऑपरेशन तो कराए ब्लड का भी इंतजाम हो दूसरे आदमी को फ्रैक्चर नेक हुआ को दिखाया कि कार्डियक प्रॉब्लम है उन्होंने उसको कहा डॉक्टर साहब हम तो नहीं करा पाएंगे इसको गंगाराम भेज दीजिए गंगाराम में बाईपास किया और वहीं पे कालरा ने प्रोसेस भी डाल दी दोबारा इनको फ्रैक्चर हुआ हमने भी कर दिया एंड दैट इज द डिफरेंस दैट्स व्हाई आई से दैट इज हेल्प किसी भी काम के लिए टीम वर्क का व्हाट ए टीम कैन अचीव इंडिविजुअल्स कैन नॉट इन दो पिक्चर देखिए सर बैंकॉक से बैंकॉक से लाया हूं और दूसरी स्लाइड का एक्शन देखिए और इसे अनाल लगाइए ये काम भी बिना टीम के नहीं हो सकता And I have also given a one draft. Do write at the first time because repair and redo are costly affair. Jitna bhi time lage. Mere se ek police kya tha? Doctor kiti dey na? One ghanta. Dusre din fir operation theater mein kitna dey lage? Yar mere ka special lage ya aaj shuru karunga kal khatam karunga. Dar gaya? Kya tha? Mujhe operation nahi kara. Lekin maine ye keh diya. Bhai, main to operation nahi karta hu. Jab tak acha nahi karta hu, tab tak karte hi rehta hu. Locomotion has been important system work of the human being because it is said in our scripture. And we know ourselves that the unknown by prana, that food is life. For the search of the food, we need normal locomotion. We humans have gone from one place to another place only for the search of food since the origin of the mankind. The situation is more or less same even today for the majority of the people. We all are moving from the search of the food or employment. therefore the health of the liver is as important as that of the heart it is also said chara ki char to bhaga arthat chalne wale ka bhag chalta hai in other words those who walk their destiny is walking in addition to my orthopedic practice and academic work which i have done this all these fellowship and uh, presented the paper this with the university delivered the lectures in addition to my orthopedic work to spread the awareness i do program on the radio tv and write columns for magazine and newspapers to spread the awareness about the various health related social issues this is the one of the high toll road accidents in india human and economic loss the link between the poverty and road traffic accidents har aadmi gareebi se gareeb hota ja raha hai mere kehne ka matlab bilkul saaf hai mistri ji ka bhi accident hone ke baad unki family bhi gareeb ho this i wrote this uh, articles and the awareness program for that the india book has recorded and for this guest column international book of recorded i have written a poem on locomotion with the charati chalte bhaga keep walking keep walking i would like to recite ichha se jan hota hai karm ka aur karm se phal ka phal se fir nahi ichha ka jeevan bhar yahi chakra chalta rehta hai aur yahi chakra deta hai gati aur yahi deta hai prigati जीवन का यही है सार्वभौमिक सत्य कि जब ही जीवन है ठहराव है मृत्यु सनातन जीवन में प्रतीक का महत्व है आज लोकतंत्र में भी प्रतीक का महत्व है हमारे राष्ट्र धर्म में भी एक प्रतीक है नीला चक्र अशोक का जो प्रतीक है धर्म का और कर्म का जिसका हर किसी भी स्थिति और परिस्थिति में एक है संदेश चले व्यक्ति चले व्यक्ति अर्थात चलते रहो चलते रहो क्योंकि चराती चर तो भगा अर्थात चलने वाले का भाग चलता है जिस तरह आजादी के पहले देश का एक संदेश था विदेशियों के लिए भारत छोड़ो यानी चले जाओ आज आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव पर संदेश है देशवासियों के लिए चलते रहो चलते रहो यही हो हम सब का धर्म यही हो हम सब का कर्म बड़े हम स्वर्ण युग की ओर जहाँ हो शांति और समृद्धि चले वेती चले वेती अर्थात चलते रहो चलते रहो ही बॉके ही बॉके As I mentioned, I have written a poetry book, Upar Sandesh, ka, which has been published by the Bharatiya Gyan Ki. I would like to recite a two-minute poem for this as well, and that is the end. Unfortunately, I can't do it, but I have the book, so I will finish over here only. Thank you very much once again. 
to all of you for your patience listening and to all of the bearers of the UP Orthopedic Association and Priyagraj Orthopedic Association who has invited me to deliver Dr. S. C. God Oriyan in the Holy City of Sangam sacrifice. I will say few lines about this. सपने ही तो आधार हमारे आपके जीवन के जैसे जैसे सपने बढ़ते हैं वैसे वैसे जीवन बढ़ता है मैं तो कहूंगा सपनों को बुनो पालो तो सो बढ़ाओ अपनी पूरी लगन और मेहनत से क्योंकि सपने ही तो भविष्य है हमारा आपका हाँ सपनों को पूरा करने के लिए दूसरों का सहयोग लो और दूसरों के सपनों को पूरा करने के लिए अपना सहयोग दो क्योंकि जीवन का आधार ये है सहयोग सहयोग के बिना हम सबकी उत्पत्ति नहीं हुई होती ना ही होता इतना विकास एवं विस्तार आज यहाँ पूरा हो रहा ये सपना ही तो था और क्या हमारे सपनों को संवारने के लिए आपको धन्यवाद और आपके सपनों को संवारने के लिए हमारी After such a motivational talk, we all are really thought to long. We have to think again. And I am extremely thankful to Padmashi doctors who gave this up. Now, in the continuation of our academic session, we are inviting Dr. C. L. Verma, Dr. K. K. Singh, Dr. Suresh Malaya, Dr. Avinash Jaswal to chair the session. I request Dr. C. L. Verma, Dr. K. K. Singh, Dr. Suresh Moria, Dr. Nagyasar, and Dr. Tandit Tersi. 
Baik itu Dr. Pangkus Tiwari dan Dr. Mahmus. So for the next session, we are going to have Dr. Amit Jaiswal, who is going to present a talk on uh, subtrochanic fracture. <coughs> First of all, I would like to thank all of the other participants, Dr. Manishi Kanjit Sir, Dr. Kapil Sir, and Dr. Kirit Pari Sir for inviting me to present this case. So, I am presenting this case, who is a 31 year old male. He is a chronic tobacco shiver. He has a pain in his left hip and in his to walk. On X-ray, patient has subprochanic fracture non with a broken long PFN in C2, operated one year back as well. When I asked the patient if he uh, had any uh, pre-operative X-ray or immediate post of X-ray, he showed me only one X-ray that was five months and stop. So quality of X-ray is poor. But we can appreciate uh, delayed union at the factor side with uh, some virus collapse. Patient was walking on this uh, intact male for past six months with some pain over here. So, though we don't have any preoperative x ray or immediate post of x ray, can we predict the cause of non union or implant failure in this case? Anyone from the house? Lateral entry point. Sir. A very lateral entry point. Yeah. Uh, the one uh, cause that is obvious is a lateral entry uh, that uh, could have made a virus reduction on table. So, two points virus reduction and uh, lateral entry. In this case, maybe the predisposing factor for uh, delayed union and uh, non erratic factor ultimately, male was broke. Yes, sir. Sir, I have operated, there was no infection. Margins was uh, in uh, this area. Uh, sir, but, uh, sir uh, there was no any um, signs of infection on before surgery. No signs of discharge, yes, our step was normal. And since I had operated, there was no pulse for the during the surgery. Uh, sir, okay. This one. Probably to the fact that he has developed more virus. And uh, no subprochanical fracture. I don't like this type of nail also, which has got a very broad uh, proximal end and then uh, suddenly narrow end, and that transition is right at the fracture side. That's a big stress riser for the nail. So that is a of this in this area. Yeah. There is a wider canal and, uh, and, and a narrow area. So three causes without any uh, immediate post of exception. Coming to the intraoperative challenges, uh, one big challenge was nail removal. As you all know, that removal of the helical plate and functional fragment will be easier, but uh, removal of the digital fragment will not be so easy. So, we need to have a, an extraction instrument on table. And coming to the choice of implant, so further uh, should we go with a long PFN or angle blade plate or DHS or DCs? Uh, any of the house, which implants should be used if they are operating? 
Thanks, Dr. Abhijay, sir. 
good quality of I need question from how good quality of guys yeah the pre op express I, I I had both the impact on all the table. Uh, I, there is no any specific reason. Preference of the table over the species. I had both the uh, implant on the table. But once uh, I removed the helical plates and I put the Richard issue, I could find a reasonable purchase on the proximal segment. So I did not uh, try to put another mold uh, or put a Richard issue in a manufacturing uh, position. Uh, so that Here the basic problem is instability, yeah. which causes hypertrophic non union. So the aim yet. should have been to provide the stability. It has invited very well, yes. But that this method cannot be advocated. Because, because you are putting a 135 degree in front here for some drop factor which doesn't have any other Sir, so, actually, so with this is true. Sir, sir, I have there. on table. I had this. I had this. I to put a rotation is true. Yeah. But uh, I am saying the X ray. That even at two points. That DCS is true. would have been better than this. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. If you are not to put a rotation, then DCS would have been better. Sir, so it has united. This is okay. So okay. that hole, that hole. When I try to put the screw through this hole. This was going through the factor side. That's why I didn't try to put derivation screw on uh, that. That's why I'm creating this case over here. Yeah. Just I will uh, add on this uh, DCS as a risk. Sir, uh, what the things sir, better uh, option? Extra advantage of DCS over the uh, DCS in this case, only one I think uh, that is the derivation screw you can put. And the longer plate, uh, it has. Hill, luckily it has hill, but it's not the principle of this is my thing. And moreover, the pre op X ray showed radio lucency around the blade, helical blade plate. Yeah. The pre op X ray showed radio lucency around the helical blade plate. So, again, going in terms around of 135. Plate, yeah. So, going into a 135 degree implant. No, no, no. no. There is no radio lucency on the helical blade plate, you can see. And on you can see the migration of the screw in the sequential X ray. You can see, no, there is no, there is no migration of critical blade plate migration. And on the other, there was a enough purchase. There was, there was good purchase that that way I decided to. And there is no provision uh, of giving a derotation screw in this DHS because yeah. any derotation screw uh, uh, will not be offering stability in the lateral. I just played that. That is what I am saying. Derotation we will discuss uh, more useful in more precision after lunch or basis of the price conclude. Where your fragment, possible fragment, can rotate over the Richard screw. Okay. Yes. If, if you are fixing the basic cervical fracture or intercoplanar fracture, Richard screw is not going to rotate, but the possible fragment bone that can rotate over the Richard screw. But if you are fixing the subcorp fracture, there are chances of. Uh, may I invite Dr. Rohit Nag to deliver talk on case-based discussion fracture distal femur. Dr. Rohit Nag. Thank you, Dr. Ami Jaiswa. Morning, everyone. Uh, I thank the uh, Prayagraj Automatic Association for inviting me as a speaker. I will be presenting a case of distal femur, complex distal femur, uh, which is a <coughs> severely commented distal femur. My patient was a 45 year old male who suffered a road traffic accident and uh, he had a compound grade 1 injury of the distal femur. The distal femur was compound and also it was a uh, severely committed to the highest variety AO 33C 3.3 with the fracture of the pedla. So, this is 
with the only pure x ray available i am sorry for that the committed uh, there was a severely low uh, uh, committed fracture which was involving the fetal also this is the ct scan axial cut transverse cut and the cervical uh, cut The three D reconstruction from proximal distal. As you can see, there was a proximal fragment which was uh, separate, and the shaft fragment was separate. So it was basically floating proximal fragment, and cutla fracture was also severely committed. So, which was uh, entrapped inside the this fever. <coughs> On the central view, from lateral to medial, there was little ropa and then the proximal formation, petal fracture, and then bigger ropa. So, this is uh, what, how should we proceed? What should be the approach in this case? Should we go lateral parapetal, swashbuckler, the usual way which we perform, or any other strategy which we should choose? Both side plate. But with swash buckler, you will not be able to approach the middle side and the uh, okay, middle side has another incision. Okay, mid -pop. Okay. And for the petal fracture, for the petal fracture, what you will do? Uh, any other technique? Because there was a severely committed petal fracture. Any other uh, opinion? Strategy and what is the plan to but not to be the butler. So, conventional strategy is, is we can use the tarpo approach, transarticular reduction, and the uh, retrograde plate of synthesis. But in this case, I chose the other approach. We, we went through the butler, we went through the butler, and through the butler only we opened the structure. We, we had a plan, uh, plan in mind to go uh, take the little trans butler approach, little prep approach, but <coughs> On the opening the fracture, we had an open window which was uh, was scattered open. Yeah. The soft shoes were compromised. So we used that plane, the fracture plane, to open the fracture further. And both the petal fragments, main fragments, were separated one on the middle side, one on the middle side. And a lot of commission was there in the petal. But this made the exposure uh, easy here. And uh, they could better fix the trochlear combination also for that. For the trochlear combination, uh, there was a one piece in which ACL was attached and uh, lying free. So one wire was uh, put from the trochlea to the uh, little condyle and then it was left in situ inside that. And then the plate was applied. <coughs> All maneuvers of joysticking and the clamp application and everything was uh, came handy. and. Uh, We also put a middle screw. We did not have put the middle plate. We put the middle screw after that to support the middle fragment also. So this was that. Butler was uh, K wired. Multiple pieces were there. Butler was first K wired, and then uh, if he want in class was there to uh, complete the class. 
to this plane uh, the fracture plane to be useful although the movement most of movement uh, was limited due to patella but going for the literature i found that patella fracture if it is commuted then the uh, the the if, if it had been without a patella fracture commission that result would have been better but due to patella fracture that uh, he could walk he he uh, sent me a walking video and the walking video uh, so this is only around 3 2 and 1/2 to 3 months post op but he he has not come for the follow up x ray after that or the physical therapy but he sent me walking video on whatsapp only movement is limited but we have got some delay. Dr. Rohitna, any question from the house? <coughs> KY was left. One KY has been uh, inserted through the trochlea and into the condyle, and then buried and cut, and then the segment further fixed with this tool. Because it was very small to got uh, to uh, negotiate a rubber, but the okay, it would have been split. And then the patella, the patella has been dealt with the K wire, K wire and the more denser class. So that was the K wire was seen, but only one thing. So why you are not using medial? But uh, there was an apprehension that because the medial condyle was only supported by one screw. Yeah. But I put the hofa the screw also. Hofa is screw. Uh, this was the medial condyle was supported by only one CC screw. So, there are the other screws were there. Okay. K wire is basically one wire is two wires and rest are so with this we come to the end of the session. I would like to call upon our speakers. Thanks. I'd like to request the chairperson. So what the Doctor, 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 I would like to present the certificates of the chairperson. Uh, Dr. Suresh Mori, <laughs> Dr. Avinash Jaspa, <laughs> Dr. Silva. <laughs> With this, we come to the end of the session. I would like to request our chairpersons for the next session. Please come on to dance. So, uh, the next session, uh, the chairpersons for the next session uh, are Dr. A.K. Rai, Dr. O. Vishwakarma, sir.
डॉक्टर डी के श्रीवास्तव डॉक्टर अनुराग अग्रवाल क्या बोले घंटा फोकस लगता चला मैं बोलू भैया ले
the time I allocated is about 10 to 24 rupees, that is two and a half to six months, and late dynamization has poor result. There are some systematic review which says the dynamization produces union in 64% of only. So not, not a very good thing, but a suspected case where you are just plus minus, you can do it. Exchange nailing, after over nailing, you change the nail in the hope that you are putting a thicker and larger nail, which will provide a sufficient stability. And the dynamic interlocking is there, and it, it, it is thought that it, when you mean, even though you are destroying some endoscopic supply, but as a reaction, the periosteoblood supply increases, uh, so it works. And it has been shown with a good result, up to 96% good result, because it is providing biological and mechanical effects also to promote the healing. <laughs> For example, though we nerves cannot call it a nail in the true sense, uh, but we do get many like this, especially from Azamgarh area. And this was a non-union epitrophic. We did a chain nailing and it went on to unite. Another patient, you see, nail broken, non-union, a chain nail, went on to unite, this was post off. Very interesting case, punctured wound, grade one open fracture. Exchange uh, uh, nearly was done after initial replacement and other things. Didn't unite, the animation then failed. Exchange nearing with bone grafting was to be done and then went on to unite at nine months. So exchange nearing can work well in these cases. In PBR again, exchange nearing. Another patient, another. Those enders in PBN now not working, they were non union, and so exchange nailing was done and went on to unite. This four months follow. So, ring nailing gives a good result after you over ring and put it. But it is useful in hypertrophic non union, not that good in epitrophic non union because, as you said, more. Uh, bone graft is not no, cannot be this. Though it is not necessary that you do exchange nailing and you do keep it closed. So you can open and put bone graft even with the exchange nailing also. So supplement bone graft can be given and it will give shorter union time in these cases of exchange nailing also. The other method which is now more popular is augmentation plate, which can be with retaining the old implant or changing the implant also. And you can use a compression plate. Advantage here is you dynamize the nail, give a compression at the fixed side, and then interlock it. You are giving dual implant, good stability, and union is better. So here you freshen freshen the bone edge non union surface, also do shingling or decortication, and put bone graft on. So again, as Dr. Tanna was saying in the morning. Do everything. So you will probably you will get a get a better plate. Uh, need not be very long. It may be a short plate, but it is giving rotational stability. It may be four holes plate only. And augmentation plate with the nail is a perfect. It, it solves the problem of mechanical rotation and stability very very well. So example from the prescription pad. This was a Nail and the interlock screws are broken, that shows that it was an instable structure, or if it was a non union was there, and then the splitting was done, bridge splitting sort of thing, and went on to unite. This one of our cases, he came with this nail in, a rear axle was missing. There has been a fracture here, a here, and a fracture here. This fracture was probably missed by the original surgeon, where he wanted to. Put a nail and try to correct put it. When he came to us, this structure is going to be united and this is man united. But this structure was not uniting. You can see this structure is united very well. So we did this exchange the nail with a long PFN, nail augmentation plate, and it's going to be united. So this type of augmentation plate can work uh, well with the exchange of nail as well, or you can retain the old nail 
and you hear in the old nail and upper nature pain and then put in the position. So this upper nature pain with deportation and original bone gives a very good result in even those fractures which are in the junctional area especially. So press one when press. When the canal is widening, that is the area of the rotational asymmetry is more important. And with this, uh, this systematic review has shown the results can be up to 19% while exchangering in this series was only 73%. Another uh, paper uh, where they reviewed 21 patients, upper disc rate 98, 9%, exchange rate 74%. So upper disc rate has been shown to have a better result than the exchange rate only. Then you can change the plan. Nail was there, which has failed. You can play it with the bone graft. Uh, May not be possible in diaphyseal fractures, but metaphyseal fractures and upper nail fractures again would be useful. This is a case where uh, you can see this fracture treated with a nail, multi directional nail was there, this one, and uh, then six months later it failed. You can see the nail is coming out here, resorption, non union. And so they did a change the implant, put a plate. There can be many things can be seen about two lectures have been there in the morning about this. This plate has not been proper put properly. This is who is not parallel to this joint line, and this didn't be right. And so ultimately this plate was revised with a better plate. And then it has gone very right. This is a tibial fracture, segmental fracture was there, interlocking nail, non union. Here the nail was again removed, straight foot, and then went out very right after bone fracture. So, when we are faced with the non union after nailing in these type of fractures, dynamization is a atomic effective cheap method, but can be done in some related non unions. After 20, before 24 weeks after initial surgery, but not very useful. In established hypertrophic non union, it can be exchanged or common thing, both. And atrophic non union always requires stimulation by bone healing. So, in hypertrophic non union, it will exchange healing, increased stability will be sufficient for healing. For atrophic non union, open separate is required. And for exchange healing, open bone can be. Use as a quotation also without a great Thank you. Thank you, uh, Professor Goyal. Now, <coughs> questions will be taken at the end if somebody wants to uh, ask any question. I mean, it was beautifully shown that the atrophic non union, probably a plating with bone grafting is a better know? option. And uh, Shane Ehring has got a relatively lower result. So now the next is speaker. Uh, Professor. I think we can have questions. This is the only lecture in this session. Uh -huh. So uh, other all, I think uh, everything else is uh, case-based discussion. So it might be different. Uh -huh. any okay, I conveyed the message. If somebody wants to ask any questions, that's fine. Otherwise, you can continue. I have conveyed the gist. If somebody wants to ask any question to Professor Goya. Okay, thank you. Dr. Sobhi, I think you can continue now. Good afternoon, everybody. I think uh, in the program, this is listed as a uh, proximity way of action, but I am going to continue with the non union thing because that is also. Uh, that was part uh, as Dr. Well uh, suggest continuation for that. Right, thank you. Amit Rastavi.
some of the slides, so that's okay. But um, all right, so this is a case for an open factor table with models. I think uh, everybody is uh, uh, looking at, I mean, is encountering such cases. So uh, let's see what the case is first. So this is a 46 year male RDA. He works in the uh, in uh, in heavy industry, and uh, he was his leg was crushed by a dumper. So this is an open fracture, grade three of right distal one third leg with degloving injury of the inchiral was high also. Fortunately, didn't have any femoral shaft fracture. Only had this one fracture. And uh, in the place where he got that accident, that's a big industry. So he they have an industry hospital also, and he was initially managed there with the right one and external physical application. Uh, are you uh, now? Uh, I would like uh, some audience participation here. So, uh, do you think this is okay? This is the correct way to manage this patient. We do not have, I do not have any further pictures of this patient because this was done elsewhere, so I don't have any one. So, um, so after three months, uh, the surgeon there actually said the he had multiple discharging sinuses in the right leg. It was managed by deprivement and removal of the X-rays. And uh, further surgery probably there was not possible, so patient was referred. This is the X-ray the patient actually came with uh, to us. And uh, how are you going to manage this patient? There's multiple discharging sinuses and wounds. And uh, how are you? How are we uh, the same? So anybody has any clue? Or shall I go ahead? We do not have a clinical photograph, sir. Uh, for this but uh, I can tell you this from what I remember is that the point of that this portion was visible in the wound. Debridement. Debridement. Is there osteosynthesis? Okay. And bone transport. And bone transport. Excuse me. Bone transport. Bone transport. Okay. Or is there and uh, bone transport? Okay, fine. That's great. So that's what we actually did six months after initial trauma patient presented to us. He uh, did not want to come and uh, he was persuaded by his uh, employers to come. So six months after initial patient presented to us with infected non-union, multiple discharging sinuses. We did a huge amount of uh, sequestration and we ended up with a large uh, gap. And we put in an uh, antibiotic spacer. And after 45 days of fixation, we did a cortipotomy and removal of that antibiotic spacer. Now this patient is alcohol dependent, so he always keeps on, you can see that, you can, can you see how strange his bias have become in spite of the distraction that is going on. And that is because he falls down frequently and loses all his uh, uh, frame, so that's what happened to him. Anyway, we, after nine months we realigned, we put in another, he keeps on falling. So one of the lessons which I learned from this case is that the patient is alcohol dependent, should not be using the ring fixation because the patient's keep getting caught. His uh, uh, clothing used to get caught in the uh, in the wires, and uh, he did not have enough balance to uh, think. So he always keeps on falling. Doctor, nine months we realigned the fixator under anesthesia and continued with the distraction. So in between, full thickness skin grafting was done, and this is the situation after 15 months. So happy we are having. Reasonably good regenerate, although it is not exactly uh, anatomical, but still, it's uh, otherwise okay. So, uh, what now? What what should we do? Should we keep on distracting? Should we compress this in the frame, or do we need to take off the frame and do something else? No, no, fracture is not united. So, should we uh, remove the frame, do something else for this patient? Or uh, should we continue distracting, compress the fracture in, uh, How are the, in the How are the pin tracks? Pin tracks are okay right now. He, uh, he, uh, we had to keep on changing his pins. He always keeps on falling down, loses his pins. We had to change his wires many times. Concertina maneuver. Excuse me? Accordion maneuver. Accordion maneuver. Accordion maneuver is basically done for poor quality region, right? Here there is no poor quality region. At the, at the docking side. At the docking side, you want to do accordion maneuver. Okay. Not compression. Uh, accordion. All right. Fine. So that's one opinion. For very short name. That's what I should do. 
Yeah. So after 17 months, patient had fairly again pin track infection, brain losing again after a fall, and he fractured the region completely. So this time we did not take that risk and we did another RRS with pressing of the bony ends, and again we started distracting. So in the original x ray, you can see that the uh, bone ends were actually touching, but now again we have got a significant gap there. So, uh, do you think this was a vital, vital decision or uh, should we have changed it over to something like a nail or something like a plate and then go back? Okay, so it's nice decision. All right, so this is what we thought too. So we continued and uh, LRS was removed after five months after distraction. Kept him on slab and antibiotics for 21 days. And after 23 months, we did an antiviral rating for the tibia with arthrosis bone cancer. So since this is plate form, so I thought that maybe I'd show a case where we had to do this. Uh, do you think this is a correct uh, fixation? Is the patient going to unite? Or is there some warning signs? Transport on LNG, yes, we actually thought about that, but because of so many pin tract infections, I was not really very keen on doing uh, transport on LNG. We actually uh, removed all the wires and then we gave antibiotics for about three weeks. Again, there is a challenge, yes. Okay, so patient was all of excess. This is what the patient looked like. Looked like everything is going on fine, but the story actually did not stop there. So, so here, can you see something uh, different? So if you look carefully, you will find that the plate has started to maybe bend a bit here. It's not looking very good. Patient did not come to us, and after 32 months, patient presented to us again with a broken plate and a non-union at the not at the site where we plan to have union. So what now, sir? Excuse me. Obviously. Mm -hmm. And an interrupt nail. Okay. So I thought we we actually. Went ahead and uh, we that was our original plan. But on table, we found that this patient otherwise has fairly good bone quality. So we revised the entire plate. So this time we used the plate which spans the whole. Actually, wanted to go up right across to the proximal uh, thing, to the uh, proximal fragment. But we didn't have a plate long enough for that. So we did uh, another plate and we did copy of bone graft and we used a proper new. Uh, Interfragment is true and copious in uh, ICPD, right? Uh, Electress over. So these are x rays at 38 months and 41 months. Uh, this time the patient seems to be doing a bit better than what he was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it looks after 48, 41 months. And uh, that's, he was lost to follow up during the COVID period for two years. After 64 months, he comes to us. This time it, look, it is looking 